In video games, you're able to do things that are absolutely impossible in real life. But a lot of things that are possible in real life are absolutely impossible in video games. Or at least really hard. Today, GameRanks brings you 10 things that are harder in video games than in real life. Number 10, simply climbing over short obstacles. In a lot of FPSs, the jump is not necessarily as powerful as it should be, and an object is just a little bit too high. It might be a false barrier, it might just be that they weren't thinking when they made that object. You never really know. But it's not just FPSs. In The Witcher 3, you literally can't go over certain things. You can't climb them, you can't jump over them. And you look completely ridiculous when there's this tiny little fence and it acts like it's a 30 foot wall. Although in all fairness, Donald Trump probably could actually build some of the little fences you see in The Witcher 3. Number nine, picking up a specific object on a crowded table. No, seriously, like think about in Dishonored for instance. There's one thing on that table you want, probably the money. You don't need the food, your health is fine. You just wanna grab the money and walk away. But for whatever reason, you pick up everything on the table first and then the thing that you want. Or like remember in Fallout 3, sometimes there's ammo in toilets and you aimed for the ammo to pick it out of the toilet and you would drink out of the toilet. And like Fallout, I don't wanna drink out of the toilet. I've never wanted to drink out of the toilet. It never even occurred to me. Number eight, just walking like a normal person. You know, instead of running everywhere. There's nothing says blending in with the environment like running like a crazy person everywhere you go. Leaving a shop? Oh, I'm gonna run. Doesn't look like I stole anything. But it's not just that. Oftentimes the run animations look ridiculous. Big, big booty. Like, remember Bethesda all the way up until Skyrim? You always looked like some sort of weird mannequin doing this borderline sliding across the environment. Like, what? This does not look normal. I do not look normal. Not only can't I simply casually walk somewhere and look like I'm vaguely at ease with my environment, I look like some alien disguised as a human hovering across the ground. Oh, hello, fellow humans. Number seven, stacking objects. Everything basically has to be done like a crane, which I have not been trained to use a crane. You have to pick things up, move it to exactly where you want to make sure it lines up how you want it to, make sure that it can snap into the area that you want to drop it in, you have to let go. And if the object actually has a physics simulation going on it, it may fall and bounce and mess up in some way. And assuming there is some sort of snapping system, it's usually bizarre because real life is nothing like that. You ever stacked a couple of cardboard boxes? You know how you could literally just sort of put them on top of each other in almost any number of ways and they'd stay that way? Yeah, it's nothing like that in video games. Number six, driving in a vaguely realistic fashion. Have you ever done this in a video game? I, I have. And let me tell you this, it's the most excruciating possible thing because nobody in the game does it. Like nobody acts like a normal person. Nobody drives around like a person would drive around in any game, especially a game like Grand Theft Auto. Oh sure, there are cars that drive around and it seems like they might be law abiding. But you know what? It doesn't even matter if they are. That car just appeared out of nowhere just out of your field of vision so it could drive, and as soon as you're far enough away from it, it just disappears into nothing. Go ahead, call that normal. I can't hear you. Number five, weird physical limitations like locked doors. Look, there are these games with these giant bosses like Dark Souls or Bayonetta. But if a door is locked, it's like, eh, I guess I can't do that. Guess I'm stuck on this side of the door until I find the key. Never mind I destroyed something that's Godzilla-sized and possibly more powerful. No, 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 I couldn't just use that on this door and uh, uh, I shouldn't even be bothering to think like that. That kind of stuff is crazy talk. But in the real world, literally everything is breakable if you have enough time and the right tools. Like you can kick plywood in, but if a game dev doesn't want you to, you can't blow it up with a rocket launcher. Number four, walking around obstacles that you could probably just do something about in some other way, like a fence. Like how many Pokemon fences have you had to walk all the way around? When you could just walk back to the general store and buy some bolt cutters, or even just some good pliers, cut a hole in the damn thing. Or, you know, climb it, because it's a fence. It's not like the Attack on Titan wall. It's a fence. 
Like in Pokemon, there's not even barbed wire on top of it. Not that that's even a huge problem if you can find a small piece of carpet to put over the barbed wire. Which I'm sure, I'm sure somebody has access to. Instead of walking for miles and miles and miles just to find the end of the fence. Number three, eating in bites. You know how in real life you bite things and it takes a while to eat them? I've never seen a video game where that happens. Unless it's like during some dialogue scene where they've written it and it has to appear normal. If you're playing the game and you pick up some bread and you want to eat the bread, do you know what you usually do? Gulp the whole damn thing down in one bite. Mmm, that was some good bread. How would you know? You literally just inhaled it. That bread was like air to you. Why don't you shut up? Don't tell me how to enjoy my bread. And like in Bioshock Infinite, you rummage through the trash and find like something edible and without hesitance, you're just like <laughs> Okay, gonna go use some vigors on some bad guys. Now that my tummy's full. Like people who saw Booker must have looked at him like, what is wrong with you? Guy just runs around like shoving garbage into his mouth and shooting fire at people out of his hands. Number two, having a normal conversation with strangers. You know, one where you're not like probing them for information on the thing that you're doing right now. Like they own a shop or something and you're like, excuse me, somebody hired me to find this one woman with a robot hand who went off on a mission but was captured by this one evil dude and he has a scar on his face and the person's like, Oh yes, let me help you, stranger. And number one, climbing down ladders. Okay, it's easy to attach yourself to a ladder and climb up it. You're on the ground, you walk up to it, it's pretty much there. But if you wanna climb down and the ladder is on a ledge and you walk up to the ledge, a lot of the time you just fall off. Or in Uncharted, you go down and hang from the ledge. It's often the most annoying possible thing, getting your character to pay attention specifically to that ladder so you can press X or whatever, so they can attach themselves to it and you can go down. You know, like a normal human being. One that doesn't fall to the ground. Oh, I just fell three stories. Could have avoided that, but it was really hard for me to press X at the top of this ladder. Good thing it only took about 5% of my health. I get no doubt. What random, unrealistic thing that would be way easier in real life bugs the crap out of you when you try to do it in a video game? Meet me in the comments. I want to hear all about it. Seriously, this is going to be a rich comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we will see you next time right here on GameRanks.